Project 9 is called Big Circuit. This project uses a large number of the parts in this set, including all the LEDs, the speaker, color organ, adjustable resistor, and fan. There are three different parts in this circuit. The first one, which is the main one, is the flashing of the color and white LEDs. The red LED is simply on steadily. Now it's recommended that when you connect the fiber optic cable, you be careful not to bend the attachments, which I cannot, can't avoid because they're so close together. But I'm going to do part two. Make sure you stay away from the fan, hold down the press switch and release it, and the fan will fly off. It will be a flying saucer. And then the uh, last part of the project involves playing music and I am using my old iPod Classic and when I connect it to the color organ with the uh, included jack wire it will control the color organ. Now for some reason the speaker is not working it's supposed to play my music but the music is also controlling the rate at which the color organ changes colors. If I pause it, the color organ LED will turn off. The infrared detector and R5 resistor are just supporting components so they don't really have a role in this project. Project 10 is box cover circuit. This circuit also uses a lot of parts in my kit and it is called the box cover circuit simply because that is the circuit or project that you see on the front cover of the box. This is the exact same one. I am going to place the tower attachment on the color organ and there are, I think the circuit is similar I'm going to turn on I'm going to turn on the slide switch and let's see what happens. The color organ the white LED flickers and the color and red LEDs turn blink on and off in sync with each other. That's because the fiber optic cable is enabling the color LED to control the red one. And here it's not connecting the cables not as much of a problem because it is spread further out so it's not bent as much. The color organ switches between white and purple and I'm going to play music. Connecting the music device is optional but I'm going to do it oops and now it rapidly switches colors keep away from the fan and it will lift off like a flying saucer Eleven is blinking colors. For this project, we include all three main LEDs plus the press switch. When I turn on the slide switch, the color LED and white LED will come on and will be blinking, but the red LED will stay off. Now I will let you know that the color LED is what controls the current to other components in a circuit. In this case it's controlling the current going through the white LED. So it is blinking as well. Now when I push the press switch look what happens. Now the red LED blinks with the color LED but the white LED is off. 
when I release the press switch, the white LED comes back on and the red one goes off. The reason why the white LED goes off when the press switch is held down is because it is much easier for the current to power the red LED than to power the white one. White is a more difficult color to produce by such a component, by such a light source, so the red LED is the one that's going to dominate. If you switch the locations of the red and white LEDs, then the red LED will be blinking and the white LED will be off and pushing the press switch will have no effect. In this case, the uh, press switch is cutting off power to the red LED and that's why it cannot dominate until you push it down. Project 12 is fiber optics. In this project, you will get to see how the fiber optic cable works. I will give you more specific rules on how to use it. Note that the attachments on the cable are different colors. One is white, the other is black. It is important to understand to put the colors in the appropriate locations. In this instance, the manual wants us to put the white attachment over the red LED and the black one over the phototransistor. And then we will turn on the slide switch. Note that the circuit is actually two separate circuits that are only connected by the fiber optic cable. But watch what occurs. Although it's not very loud, you can hear the speaker sounding. And the sound changes when I adjust the adju uh, resistor. High pitched. And low pitched. The red LED is sending a light signal through the fiber optic cable to the phototransistor which in turn controls the other circuit. So fiber optic cables can transfer light incredibly long distances in order to control other devices or equipment. If I turn off the slide switch, the red LED will turn off and the speaker will stop making noise because the light is no longer traveling to the phototransistor. When I turn the switch back on, it's coming back. And the blinking of the red LED, which is being controlled by the strobe integrated circuit, is controlling the sound. Now the LED is pretty much on steadily and Therefore, the sound is. On the lowest setting, the LED is blinking pretty fast, but the sound is in intervals. In real life applications, fiber optic cables can transfer information long distances with very lo low distortion. So, in theory, we could actually have these two circuits miles apart and then connect them with a single fiber optic cable that is, of course, a lot longer than this. Without any problems, the speaker will still sound as long as everything is hooked up properly. 13 is tones over light. It is similar to the previous project fiber optics, in which I explained about how fiber optics work. We still have the fiber optic cable connecting the red LED with the white, with the clear holder and the phototransistor with the black holder. We're using the strobe integrated circuit and RV. The LED is flashing at its quickest rate, so it appears to be on steadily and it is controlling the sound on the speaker. We can adjust the 
RV lever. Now it's on the lowest setting. The only difference between this circuit and the previous one is that this one has only one amplifier, the Q1 transistor, while the other circuit had two of them. The Q2 transistor was also used, and that's why the sound may have been louder in the previous one, because it had more power. 14 is color optic sounds. This project is similar to the previous two, but I am using the color LED instead of the red LED to connect the fiber optic cable to using the clear holder. I'm still using the photo transistor. The black holder is connecting to it. And now both the speaker and the strobe are on the right side. And then the color LED is on the left side. I am going to turn on the slide switch and push the press switch. The speaker will make different tones. as the color LED blinks. In this scenario, the color LED is controlling the rest of the circuit. It's sending a light signal through the fiber optic cable to the phototransistor, which in turn is powering the circuit on the right. Because of the strobe integrated circuit, the speaker sounds in intervals. But at the same time, the LED is controlling the current, so it's going to even be more distorted because of how the color LED operates. 15 is color light transporter. You can see I have just one circuit for this project, but I attach the fiber optic cable to the color LED using the black connector. I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Now we're going to leave the other end of the cable free and let's see what happens. The fiber optic cable is actually transporting the light from the color LED. Now this might be tricky but if you look carefully, the light from the color LED is illuminating the floor here. Even if the cable is bent into loops or twists, the light can still travel through. And that's what makes fiber optic cables so beneficial for transporting information and signals. This effect is best seen in a dark room. Project 16 is color optics. For this project, I have the color LED in its own small circuit and the fiber optic cable is connecting to the speaker, which is included with the transistors and resistor. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and let's see what happens. The speaker makes very weird noises as the color LED's light is transported through the fiber optic cable to the phototransistor. And so there are some very interesting effects produced the color LED can control the sound that is made. And then you hear clicking as the color LED flashes. 17 is high power fiber optics. This circuit looks more complicated and it has more components and 
I am going to turn on the slide switch. The fiber optic cable is connected between the photo transistor and the white LED. The speaker is now making a sound and we can adjust, change that sound by adjusting the lever on the adjustable resistor. Oops. Now it's very high pitched and then it's low pitched and the LED is blinking more. Now an optional thing which I am going to do is move the RV to a higher setting and then I'm going to take the clear fiber optic holder off and just hover around the white LED with the end at different angles and you want to see how that affects the performance of the sound and similarly we can take the black jumper holder fiber optic cable holder off and hold that end over the phototransistor. There'll be similar results because the light from the color from the what the light from the LED is controlling the circuit when it hits the phototransistor. You take the end of the fiber optic cable away from it, then the phototransistor cannot get any light. In either case, when you remove an end of the fiber optic cable away from either the white LED or phototransistor, you're preventing the project from working properly. You could also replace the white LED with any of the LED other LEDs, but I'm not going to do it for this project. 18 is high color optic sounds. This project is more simple than the previous one, but has a similar principle. The light from the color LED is controlling sounds that the speaker makes when it travels through the fiber optic cable to the phototransistor. It's controlling the strobe integrated circuit and the speaker. Now for best performance, you should have the fiber optic cable in a position so that both of the holders are standing up straight and are not being bent. When I let go, the light cannot properly get through. So you may have to hold them while doing the circuit. 